It seems quite beautiful, but it's costly. It's a vast tomb, and it's on the head of a man. A man is having his eyes closed, and it's in the half of his head above the water, and half is inside the water. The trees surround the tombs, and it's over thee in the days of water all around. It could be more colorful. It has two or three shades. And these are some cloudy. Cloudy in the between of the tomb. It looks wonderful. I'm in a gadget shop. And you know, I have seen a unique gadget. And I've seen that it's in the shape of a spider. It has eight legs in brown color. And the inside is black and pink. It seems unique. And it has a light when there is darkness. A light in that gadget. And it's a mouse shape. It should be connected to the laptop I purchased. So I want to buy that. I will never get that type of gadget again. So please allow me to buy that as I have already given you a description. So please reply to me after hearing this description. I'm at the annual fair in my city. As I told you in my earlier call. It's interesting and exciting because now I can see one performer performing a skill.
He is having a bird on his tongue. And that bird is also, you know, quite good in a quiet manner sitting down on a man's tongue. And it's almost a few seconds past. And he is still there on his tongue. And many people are hooting and enjoying. I hope you have joined this year with me. I'm missing you. And you are getting an accurate picture of what I am describing. There's one picture in front of me. It's interesting. It's a zoo picture. One of these animals on the left side is an elephant. Behind that is a small tree. On the other side, on the right side, there are two giraffes. One is a baby giraffe. And one is the mother of a giraffe. And there's one big tree behind them. And birds are chirping in the sky in a group. And there is one mother and with him. Technology plays a significant role in our society. I will opt for option A because I want the launch of 5G services in our city to connect with the high-tech world efficiently. I live in a small town in Haryana. For the last few years, this plan for bringing the 5G services has been going on but always gets delayed for unknown reasons. I face a lot of issues with my current network services. Most of the time, signals are weak, and connecting with family and friends inside and outside the city is a daunting task. Moreover, my studies are online, and poor network services make it challenging to handle the situation. I have to take the recording of the session from my friends to complete my homework.
Finally, when we will get these services, it will help us all in many ways. Firstly, it will improve the networking connection. It will remove all the unusual disruption while talking to each other within and outside the city. Secondly, people will also get a chance to benefit from services like Google Smart TV, watching different platforms like Netflix, Hotstar and many others in a seamless connection. The majority of the people will go with option A. I am writing this email to apply for the part-time position in your football club. My name is Anu Sharma, and I have 10 years of experience working in the sports field. I played on national and international levels while pursuing my studies. And now I am pursuing my career in the football field as a professional coach. I train in the North Delta Football Sports Club team and provide personal coaching to children who want to learn this sport as their hobby or for personal interest. I work on weekdays, and this job requires someone who can provide weekend coaching. I can join any time as I don't need to leave my current job or give any notice period. Yes, indeed, today, in the age of laptops and iPads, handwriting is still essential.
It's essential on many occasions when we're working professionally. There are many, many, many occasions where we need to use it. We need to write and are just based on that from our seniors. So we are writing. And it would need to help us only because sometimes we are given some projects where we have to do some calculations, some things in which handwriting is down. Moreover, when we are doing higher education, handwriting helps us connect to what we are learning. There are many other scenarios where handwriting is counted, which is essential. Many projects are being assigned to higher positions. Yes, dictionaries help learn a language. Firstly, for a beginner, it's an excellent start to learning a language from a dictionary because they come across many words they have never heard. So, they got a chance to get all the words in one platform. And that is dictionaries. Moreover, a person gets more and more proficient once he gets used to the words which he can use and learn. And see every day because dictionaries are of different, different levels.
First, it starts with beginner, intermediate, and proficient levels. So, people can use a dictionary as a medium for learning the language. Yes, beauty is essential in our society first, as we can see from most partners when they get engaged. When they take their partners to their parents, they always expect their partner to have some beauty, not physically, but also inside. So beauty is not about physical, it's an accolade on all the platforms. So beautiful beauty is essential. And it counts. There are many platforms where beauty is being opened up. Like a contest for both males and females. Where they can showcase their qualities. And I believe it gives positive feedback to society because they get encouraged when one of the people gets a winner. So, yes, it's essential, and I have seen many countries have started doing beauty contests now. So, yes, it is a good platform for everyone to participate and showcase their beauty.